my heart aches, and a promising numbness pains my sense. As though hemlock I had drunk, or emptied some dull opiate to the drains, just one minute passed, and lethe wars had sunk. This not through envy of thy happy lot, but being too happy in thy happiness, that thou light winged dryad of the trees, in some melodious plot of beech and green and shadows numberless, sings of summer in full trope ease. Oh, oh, for a draught of vintage that have been cold long age in deep dwelled earth. Tasting of flora and the country green, dance, Provencal song and sunburnt mirth. Oh, for a beaker full of south, full of true, the blissful hippocrene, would be the bubbles vinking on the brim, and purple stained mouth, that I might drink and leave the world unseen, and with thee fade away into the forest dim. Fade, far away, dissolve, and quite forget that thou, what thou amongst the leaves has never known, the weariness, the fever, and the fret. Here, where men sit and hear each other groan, where palsy shakes a few sad last gray hairs, where youth grows pain and specters him and dies. Where but to think is to be full of sorrow and leaden eye despairs. Where beauty cannot keep her lustrous eyes or new love kind at them beyond tomorrow. Away, away, for I will fly to thee not charioted by Bacchus and his parts, but on the viewless wings of poesy. Though the dull brain perplexes and retards, already with thee, tender is the night. And happily the queen moan on her throne, clustered round by all her starry face. But there is no light. Save what from the heaven with the breeze is blown through wordurous blooms and winding mossy ways. I cannot see what flowers are at my feet, nor what soft incense hangs upon the boughs, but in embalmed darkness, guess each sweet, wherewith the seasonable moths endows the grass the thicket, and the fruit tree wild. White autumn and pastoral eglantine, fast fading violets covered up in the leaves, and midway, mid-May's eldest child, the coming musk rose full of dewy wine. The murmurous haunt of flies on summer eaves. Darkling, I listen. And for many a time, I've been half in love with easeful death. Calling soft names in many amused rhyme to take into the air my quiet breath. No more than ever since it reached to die, to cease upon the midnight <coughs> with no pain. While thou art pouring forth thy soul abroad in such ecstasy. Still wouldst thou sing, and I have ears in vain, to thy high requiem become a sod. Thou wast not born for death, immortal bird, no hungry generation thread thee down. The voice I hear, the passing night was heard in ancient day by <clears throat> emperor and child. Perhaps. The same sort song that found a path through the sad heart of Ruth, when sick for home she stood in tears, 
amid the alien corn. The same that oft times have charmed magic casements, opening on the foam of brilliant seas in fair lands forlorn. Forlorn. The very word is like a bell to toll me back from thee to my soul self. Adieu. Adieu, a fancy cannot cheat so well, and as she is fain to do, deceiving elf. Adieu, adieu, my plaintive anthem fades, past near Maddox, over the stream, up the hillside. And now it is buried deep in next valley's place. Was it a vision or a waking dream? Fled is that music? Do I wake or do I sleep?